Once upon a time, they lived three piglets with their mother in a small house. It was time for them to leave their home and learn to live on their own. Their mother called the three piglets next to her. My dear children, the time has come for you to go out into the world. Go and start your new lives. But don't ever forget, whatever you do in this world, do the best you can. This is the only and the best way to stay alive. A little sad with a bit of excitement, the three little piglets said their goodbyes to their mummy and were on their way. After a while, they found some piece of land where they could build their own home. The youngest piglet was determined to build his home with straw. He thought this was the easiest and the fastest way to build a home. That way, he had heaps of time to play. The youngest of them all finished his house in one day. He yelled out to the other piglets. Hey you guys, I'm already finished! The eldest piglet had a look at the house. Mm, okay, but this house doesn't look steady at all. How will we protect ourselves from the wolf? The youngest piglet didn't take any notice of his brother. Don't worry, nothing will happen. Okay, don't say I didn't warn you. The middle piglet decided to make his house out of wood. From the branches he had collected in the woods, he decided to build a little cubby house. His house took exactly three days to finish. This house was a bit more steady than the one with straw. The eldest piglet walked over towards him. Uh, my dear brother, you've done a great job, but this doesn't look safe at all. Is this house going to protect us from the wolf? The middle piglet answered. Don't worry, this house is very safe. Okay, don't say I didn't warn you. While the two little piglets were having a great time in their newly built homes, the eldest of them all was constantly working because he was building a home from bricks and rocks. The other piglets thought that his effort was useless. All they did was play around and kill time. Why would you bother with this when you can quickly finish like we have? Hey, how scared is he? The eldest piglet didn't bother listening to them. He worked for one whole week and managed to finish his house made out of bricks and rocks. A day later, a hungry wolf arrived near their home. He first stood in front of the house made of straw. The little piglet was resting in his house made of straw. The wolf knocked on the door. Open the door and let me in. If you don't, I'll huff and puff and blow your house in. You can't do anything to me. My house is steady enough. And so the wolf huffed and puffed and he blew his house in. But with great effort, the little piglet managed to get away. And off he ran over to his brother's house made from tree branches. He knocked on the door and when the middle piglet opened the door, the little piglet threw himself inside the house. Hey, close the door! The wolf can come in here! Don't worry, he can't do anything to us in this house. After a while, the wolf came by the second piglet's wooden house and yelled inside. Open the door and let me in. If you don't, I'll huff and puff and blow your house in. You can't blow my house in! And so the wolf huffed and puffed and he blew his house in and brought it down. Both piglets ran to the third piglet's house and barely got away from the wolf. Brother, the wolf is going this way, what are we going to do? The oldest piglet answered very sure of himself. Uh, don't worry, uh, the wolf cannot come in this house. A little later, the starving wolf came by the third piglet's house of bricks and stone and yelled to the three piglets. 
Open the door and let me in. If you don't, I'll huff and puff and blow your house in. Don't you even try, you bad wolf. You cannot come in this house. The wolf got very angry. He huffed and puffed, but nothing happened. He could not bring his house down. He tried and tried, but he couldn't move one single brick. Finally, being exhausted, the wolf decided to try another way to go in. He saw the chimney up on the roof and started to climb. Realising that the wolf was going to climb up on the roof and come down the chimney, the piglet quickly lit up the fireplace right under the chimney and put a big bucket of water on the wood. The wolf barely climbed up the chimney and threw himself in and went straight into the boiling bucket. Free from the wolf, the piglets hugged each other with joy. The three piglets went to their mother's house the next day to tell her all that had happened. The youngest one came next to his mother. You were right, mummy. Whatever we did in this world, we have done it to our best. If you really work for something, it will be a success. From that day on, the two piglets were never lazy. They worked hard like their big brother and lived a happy and safe life.